Sussex's cry in shame. Ellen DeGeneres sells estate in Montecito to run away from Harry and Meghan. Ellen DeGeneres and her wife Portia de Rossi are selling their Montecito home for $13.9 million, just four months after buying it. The couple, who have been married since 2008, bought the property in September last year and have reportedly spent the last months giving it a small makeover. Daytime talk show host Ellen DeGeneres has put her one-story home in Montecito up for sale on Thursday, February 3, just over four months after buying it, as their neighbors Prince Harry and Meghan Markle consider doing the same. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who live over ten minutes from the home, are also considering selling their new home, which is currently valued at $14.9 million and has been theirs in recent years, the Evening Standard reported. The Montecito enclave is home to many celebrities and wealthy entertainment titans. It is most famously known to contain Oprah Winfrey's promised land estate, reportedly worth $50 million, where she filmed her popular TV specials with Adele, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle upped sticks to move to Montecito, California in June 2020. Ever since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle moved to Montecito, several of their neighbors have left. In fact, it seems like the some of the other super wealthy residents are playing Monopoly and Hot Potato with the local properties. Most recently, actor Rob Blow's former home, which is just within walking distance from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's new property, was placed on the market for $22.5 million, as reported by Forbes. The listing is held by Coldwell Banker Global Luxury Property Specialists, and it revealed that the house has seven bedrooms and 13 bathrooms across approximately 5.5 acres of space. Timothy DiPrizito of the real estate agency described it as, an enchanting estate to inspire adventurers of all ages. This legacy property embodies the epitome of Montecito and Southern California. Roblo sold the house for $25 million to billionaire Peter Sperling in 2005. Much like Prince Harry and Meghan's house, the property is designed to look like an English country manor, with traditional features throughout including large open fireplaces and high ceilings. As well as the main house, there are two separate one-bedroom guest houses, which the Duke and Duchess are also believed to have one of at their own residence, a state-of-the-art gym, and separate staff quarters complete with laundry areas, restrooms and break rooms. The home also has an eight-car garage, an office, a theater and a workshop. The master suite, meanwhile, is practically its own entity with a private terrace, a shoe closet on its very own level, a bathroom with a standalone tub and mirrored walls, and a secondary bathroom with a slab marble shower and mirrored closets. Prince Harry and Meghan's home is said to have a total of nine bedrooms and 16 bathrooms, while their guest house has an additional two bedrooms and two bathrooms. They currently share it with their one-year-old son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, but are currently expecting a second child, due this summer. Meanwhile, two months ago, the Duchess of Sussex is said to not be going out as much now since her latest TV appearance, according to a royal expert who claims it didn't provoke the reaction she was hoping for. Royal expert Neil Sean addressed the matter on his YouTube channel, telling viewers, Meghan is apparently taken to indoors as we say over here in the UK because she's so upset about the backlash she received after appearing on the show. Even Prince Harry thought this was a good idea to show her fun side. Perhaps they should have gone on together, how fun that would have been. During her debut on The Ellen Show last month Meghan, 40, took part in a series of pranks that saw her go under the instruction of Ellen DeGeneres to carry out embarrassing tasks in front of unsuspecting stallholders. Wearing a hidden earpiece, Meghan, who is mum to Archie, too, and Lilibet Diana, six months, was encouraged by the talk show host to eat tortilla crisp like a chipmunk, refer to herself as mummy, tell jokes and hold a crystal up to her head.